gonna be together. No, this ain't no damn unity party with punks. This ain't no unity party with people who don't want the true liberation of black people. This ain't no unity party with betrayers and snitches and hypocrites and this ain't that kind of party. So you take your raggedy ass on home. But those who want liberation. nation that I have ever covered. I've been there 25 years ago and I've been there as recently as last year. Fine. So what? 35 years old. That's what that nation is. Now here's America 226 years old. You love democracy, but it's there in Africa. You try to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago. Black folks got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt they are. You should be quiet and let those of us who know our people go there and help them get out of that condition. But America should keep her mouth shut wherever there's a corrupt regime as much hell as America has raised on the earth. No, I will not allow America or you, Mr. Wallace, to condemn them as the most corrupt nation on earth when you have spilled the blood of human beings. Has, has Nigeria dropped an atomic bomb and killed people in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Have they killed off millions of Native Americans? How dare you put yourself in that position as a moral judge? I think you should keep quiet. Because with that much blood on America's hands, you have no right to speak. I will speak because I don't have that blood on my hand. Yes, there's corruption there. Yes, there's mismanagement of resources. Yes, there is abuse. There's abuse in every nation on earth, including this one. So let's not play holy to moralize on them. Let's help them. I'm not moralizing. I'm asking a question and I got an answer. Why would you put it as the most corrupt regime in the world? That doesn't make sense. Can you think of one more corrupt? Yeah, I'm living in one. I'm living in one. Yes, you've done a hell of a... This ain't that kind of party.
Mm-hmm.